social computing, actually this is the term I invented uh, in China because in, in 90s I was doing a lot of uh, so-called day trading, buying, sell stock when I was professor at uh, the US. And then I need to know all those informations in order to to, to have a uh, optimum return, so know when you to sell, to, to buy. That's how I get into this area. And then I find that when the internet come, right, social media come, right, this is a very good channel for the government, for everyone to know what's happening, you know, what other people are thinking, and what they are doing, and what might be the trend. So at first I call this open source intelligence. And then I realized this is the term used by the CIA and by the FBI, by the military. So I want to come up with a new term to describe this big data, big social data. Data from a forum, data from social medium, this data from social network. So I, in the end, I decided to use social computing to describe those activities. And then I realized someone has used the social computing uh, in, in science, in, uh, 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 in research. But at that time, social computing means email, means CSCW, uh, Computer Supported uh, Working Group. So I give it a new meaning, not a technology. You have to bring social science into this, psychology and so on, and make them be able to compute. So I use the social computing means, at that time a narrow definition is getting information from online, from internet, from a forum, from the social group, and then use this information for description, for prediction, also for prescription, put all three together. And so the government know how people think. The politicians, your senator, your congressman, how know the people in his district think. And instead of just before, based on the experience, based on your heuristic, now you have your number. And so you have to put the computer science, the social science, psychology, political science all together. And to describe how people are thinking in number and to predict what is going to happen in number, to prescribe, to guidance, to influence them scientifically, not, uh, not uh, to conceive, to cheating, to so do the right thing in the right way. That's the purpose of social computing. Yeah, you see the from from a steam machine to motor to robot reduce our uh, uh, our time on labor work, right? So kind of enhance our manpower physically. And we have to do a wonderful job, and now you can think about how many hours you spend on, 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 the, on physical work and how many hours a hundred years ago and, the, and the today, right? hundred years ago we have working so hard in the field, so hard in the factory, and we get so little. And now with all those wonderful machines, we don't need to work. To, 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 to. Armstrong is no longer the, uh, the, 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 you know, the only thing you need to survive, right? But you need to be brain strong. Brain strong, the biological, biological, bi biology brain alone is not enough. So we need something within, within the machine to enhance our ability to reasoning, to make the decision. And so we can enjoy life more. And now so hard, we, we feel tired because our brain, we just we use our brain too much. So now many jobs can be conducted by algorithms. E-com already do that. 
all those re recommended system. Oh, you you click this out there. Oh, you and this you you may find this is uh, interest. And you then you recommend for 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 buying right. And uh, many th this is just example. And you click this book and tell you oh, those book you might be interested. So I used to spend the whole days in the library, and I go to all different shelves. I I I was literally bring those books down and send it to the copy machine and so on. So now, all those uh, electronic readers, you can do more. You can have a knowledge graph and something. But you're still in control. So by industrial automation, we come to what we are today. How to go to the next. So you, we, we need to replace some of our brain work by others. Just like we already replaced a lot of our physical work by machine already, we need to do that on the next level. And this is why the government and the politician promise so much, and they cannot deliver because their thinking is still this old thinking. You need a new thinking, and uh, this knowledge automation will will make people. Enjoy good life, and still someone has to do the dirty job. You can't just give promise without people doing the dirty job, right? And the machine already did so many dirty job for us. But there's some function, especially in reasoning, in decision making, machine still unable to do. But AI, cybernetics. Parallel system, parallel in intelligence, parallel management, parallel control, and the parallel automation. So our theme is, for example, our lab. We are the only lab in complex system for for the we we call the the state key lab for management and the control of complex system. We use this parallel approach. Not divide and conquer, but augment and solve to dealing with the complexity issues. That's the area discipline called the complex complexity science. So this is our approach. We are unique in the world, but now more more and more people is following this approach. So make real and virtual go together. And now it's digital twin, is the uh, along this direction, and uh, many many other uh, uh, approach is closely related to our parallel approach, and we call ACP, artificial society, artificial system, artificial organization, and we use those artificial system to do computational. Experiment, not physical. Physical sometimes cost too much money, right? It's not allowed by law, and it is not allowed by the the ethical human ethics. And even you have the money, and you you change the law, you can do it. Even people are willing to sacrifice, it. and then you realize, oh, I can't do that scientifically. Because science has not been that advanced to find a scientific way to conduct those experiments, so we do artificial way, we do computational way, we use computer as a social lab, as a decision lab, and this way the cost is low, but the return is high. We we learn the lesson in the virtual world like a game, computer game, but then this enhance our Decision making capacity, our execution capacity in the real physical world. We need uh, more data, and uh, we need even more capacity, more skill to process in this data, and uh, to get intelligence, to get knowledge. Precision knowledge, 
from those data. So the data we collected directly from the physical world, from the mental world, is uh, we have to pay. The cost is very high, but we should be able to money from those data before we we do the money in the in the mountain, in the bottom of the oceans, right? Cost a lot of money, right? But uh, we should combine this data money with the physical money. And so we from the, the, the limited data we have from mental physical world and use algorithm, use model to produce even more data. And then from those big more data to get the precision knowledge. The knowledge is the best for this particular problem. The philosophy means the love of wisdom. Art intelligent, artificial intelligence. All the school we had, all the, the those uh, training we had is make our to be smart, educated people, right? To have smartness, have intelligence. So this is how philosophy started. This is a philosophy. This is how we're different from animals. We have to continue this.